Morning and welcome. welcome. Oh, wow. oh, there you go. Jinx. What a what a what a start. Yeah, uh, we're we're right on. Are you feeling the magic? Oh yeah. I mean, I'll tell you what. It's pretty tough not to feel the magic when you're pulling up to a place like Santorini. It's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. No, this, this is the place. Santorini is what did you call it? Before? Well, I mean, no, I, I was calling Dubrovnik the, the Pearl of the Adriatic. The but, I mean, Isn't this the jewel or something? It could be, but I mean, I, I mean, this is really, I mean, Mecca for, you know, holiday goers in, in Europe. This yeah. is the place. And I mean, just for, for sheer sort of, you know, romance, fun, excitement, anything you like, adventure, cuisine. I mean, it's this is in, an incredible place. And once you get up to the top of that hill, it's the, the, it's your playground because there's so much to do. You can't find a bad meal up there. No, no. The food is so great. I recommend getting some fresh feta cheese. Oh. Like they serve it in on top of a salad in a slab. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. A solid slab of feta cheese. It's so delicious. Here's a question for you. In yes, Greece, like what we'd call a Greek salad in, in the States or Australia, they just call it salad. Right. It's the same thing like when you go to to China, right. so I've done a little touring in China. Um, there's no Chinese food; it's just called food <laughs> there. Yeah, interesting. But we're off topic. We are. Can we I just are. take a moment, real quickly, sure. to acknowledge our uh, incredible cameraman? And yeah, he puts William. the show together uh, every day. He actually has to deal with us because we can be quite diva-ish. Don't well, you think? well, well, we can. I mean, especially me, probably more so than you. Well, you're just stocking your dressing room before this show starts. No, I know, but I don't really get an opportunity ever to be diva-ish other than when we're on here. Devilish, so. yes. De oh, diva-ish? Devil Never. So, yeah. I mean, I've Never. got to take advantage. So, and William, thank you so much. Also, William's our only audience member today, and uh, I, I mean, I hope... They're dropping like flies. They are, yeah. No, it's not good. I just actually... Uh, Yesterday afternoon, I met a wonderful uh, man, Gary, who said that he's one of the four who watches the show. And I mean, to say I was with 25% of our crowd during that moment. Is that my friend, was Gary? Great. No, 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 not your okay. friend, Gary. No, he definitely doesn't watch. No, 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 he couldn't. Not, not <laughs> at all. No. <laughs> my mum actually said that she would watch it if it was just you. The fact that, you know, it's, she's not going to watch it. How could it. she say that? Well, uh, well she, she's a big Dave Cos fan. That's why I comes love on every, It comes on every cruise. Sue Larkin, I love you. Always loved you. Yeah. And Auntie Julie. Auntie Jules, yeah, yeah. She, uh, she loves it as well. I love that so, family of yours. Uh, thanks, mate. Yeah. We're, We've we're had a great such time. a great cruise. Yesterday was fantastic. A full day at sea oh. gives us the opportunity to really enjoy the ship and in, enjoy each other. And there was so much great music and so many great symposiums. And uh, I feel like uh, on this particular cruise, it's, it's just, there's a hum. Yeah. It's like this real beautiful hum that everybody's just kind of buzzing. And uh, that's all due to you guys, our beloved guests. And the enthusiasm is just everywhere around the ship. You're exactly yeah. right. You walk into one room and then, you know, you think, okay, well, everyone's in here. You go into the next room and, as you say, I mean, everyone's buzzing. It's great fun, you know. And, uh, yeah, you're exactly right. The guests with the energy of this week's just been incredible. What about the weather yesterday for our sea day? Was, was perfect. I was surprised with the weather so nice that we had a full house for the gospel show, which is always oh. jam-packed, but with it being so beautiful and calm, uh, and you know, not windy, and just the right temperature, probably in the high 70s, it was just perfection. So I'm surprised that people wanted to be indoors, but they yeah. got a great show. And Jonathan Butler, oh, bravo Jonathan to you, up. my dear friend Jonathan, JB, who knows how to do that better than anybody yeah. and there was such a beautiful parade of artistry on that stage and a, a big shout out to John Stoddart who I like the way you say his last name Stoddart Stoddart John Stoddart John Stoddart Stoddart yeah that doesn't sound, that doesn't sound right well you sound better but Stoddart. I, it's hard to it hurts my mouth to you to Stoddart. do that Stoddart well John Stoddart yeah uh, but John thank you very much for being yeah, so, so exceptional He's a great man, John, and I love his wife, Helen, as well. You know, great people, that's for sure. And actually, if you if you notice that a lot of the musicians and artists are very happy this week, there's a good reason, because a lot of our uh, friends, great friends and, and other halves and uh, significant others and wives and husbands are here on this week. So a uh, lot of happy campers yep. <laughs> around. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice sure. thing to watch yeah it is no it's great and uh and also ladies night last night the shows candy and sheila e incredible well the ladies know how to do it 
I do. And I have to say, when you have two ladies like that with phenomenal talent uh, and with the energy, like that's really what it is. That, that both of them just put all of themselves into their shows. And uh, Candy, it's, it's hard for me to find a funkier human being, let alone a funkier yeah. woman than Candy. And then Sheila, when she gets on stage, it's all love. It's, I mean, even when she's rocking out and throwing you know, her, her yeah, symbols yeah, yeah. off to the Gone side, uh, she is all about love. That's her message. Uh, everywhere she goes, whatever she's doing, that's how she walks in her life, is always uh, emanating a message of love, which is so inspiring. That's why I like to hang out with her. Sure. So the ladies rocked last night, and I hope that you had a fantastic lady night, ladies' night. And that was not just for the ladies, but look, if the ladies are happy, the men benefit. That's Am I right? Exactly. That's true. I believe it. It's a win-win. Uh, yeah, uh, that's what I like, as we you like know? to call it. Yeah, yeah. A double positive. A double positive. Yeah. yeah. Don't start out. <laughs> uh, some other great things that happened. Um, we had our uh, round two of So You Think You Can Jam. Uh, Ronnie Goots uh, hosted that at the pool. That was so cool seeing everyone. You know, we, we were up there and uh, about to grab some lunch, and everyone's kicking back out by the pool. The weather was incredible, you know. And I was talking to this uh, lovely young girl, 12 years old. Her name is Allison. Allison, if you're watching, uh, you did an incredible job. But there was this other guy, I can't remember his name, who sang Lou Rawls' song. Was Cedric, wasn't it? Is his name Cedric? Cedric from Las Vegas, name. I think it was. And there were a couple of other saxophone players who were great. Uh, but I sort of grabbed Allison because she's this beautiful young girl, 12 years old. And she's, first of all, I'm, I have such sax envy because she has a Mark VI alto sax from okay. like, uh, 1959 or 1960. Wow. So this, this saxophone that, that her parents bought her is worth a lot of money and it's also like a severe collector's item. So uh, I said, you got to come up to the sax academy where all the saxophone players were doing a symposium. And she it was like everybody was salivating. <laughs> you got all these saxophone players looking at this 12-year-old sax That's and incredible. salivating, you know, and I told her to keep a good eye, good eye yeah, on yeah, it yeah, yeah. for the for next sure. few days. That's for sure. So that it doesn't get uh, taken from her, but she's, uh, she's so good and uh, a fantastic sound, beautiful sound on the alto. So we want to wish her and all of our contestants, our passenger, talent contest uh, uh, participants, really good luck in the final round. Yeah, and 88 Keys was great as well. I, I caught uh, some of that with, with uh, was with Greg, Patrice, Ollie, and Greg Manning, or yeah. Greg Fillengaines, I should say before, but uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Great to uh, stick your head in there for a while and just you know listen to those guys talk about it. Patrice knows what she's doing. She sure does, yeah. She a lot of strings to a bow. In. Yeah. You know, what does that mean? Strings to a, like a lot of strings to a bow means, you know, she's a producer, composer, oh. educator, you know, artist. Yeah. I wish you'd give me a handout of some of the things that you're going to say. It'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I can mm. like look like I know what I'm understanding when you say them. But then I think about our audience or three audience members. They don't understand. They, no, they no. probably get what, about 35% of what you say anyway. Max. Maximum, I'd say. I remember the first cruise that we did together, Pete and I, and uh, we would do this morning show, and I would look at him, and he would talk, and he would go and think, and then it would come to me, and I would like, I don't know what you just said. I got maybe 25% earlier. I've got, I'm up to maybe about, I don't know, 53%. You're pretty good now. Yeah. yeah. Definitely a part. I'm over half. I can oh, understand sure. over 50% sure. of what you say. No, without a doubt. Yeah. But it yeah. wasn't always that good. No, no. Well, we're getting there. I mean... It's still, I guess it's still a problem that I can't pronounce Stoddart correctly, but, you know. Stoddart. I like that. <laughs> uh, we had a great producer's corner. Pat Prescott went one-on-one uh, -on -one with Greg Fillingaines, which was great. He's got so, such great stories. And I heard the, about the cigar. I didn't attend the cigar thing because I don't smoke cigars, right, but no. uh, Lingtos was out there. Oh, well, yeah. Now it was a good crowd as well for uh, what I heard. And Lingtos, he's got, he's got his own line of cigars and, and wine as well, I think, now. So he's, uh, you know, getting into all different sorts of things, Lingtos. But it was yeah, a good crowd out there for uh, for an afternoon smoke. I had a wonderful session with uh, Jeffrey. Oh, that Osborne. was fantastic. He's one of those rare individuals, rare talents that's just got it all. And he's going to be seventy years old. We were talking about his longevity and how he's been able to uh, preserve his beautiful voice for all these years. And it's I, if you ask me, I think it's gotten better with age. And he's just an inspiration. He's just yeah. a solid inspiration for all of us. 
and so many great stories and he sang a little bit and and uh i just love jeffrey and that's going to be uh tonight's show he's going to be headlining tonight with peter white that's on right. the main stage so uh Strap yourselves in. And, and that's what, you know, a, a lot of our guests, I mean, obviously they're not watching this, but so the conversation's mainly for us. But uh, a lot of our guests have, have come up to me this week on board and a lot, of, a lot of new guests joining us for the first time. And they were like, you know, after Jonathan and Gerald, we, just, we didn't think this cruise, you know, could get any better than music. And then Rick and Richard, we didn't think it could be better than Dave. And then the ladies. And now, you know, I mean, tonight... Peter and Jeffrey. I mean, it's going to be incredible fun. We're just keeping it going. That's it, yeah. Just keep ramping it up to the end. We're going to end big. Oh, yeah. We are going to end That's for sure. big. Um, okay, so, uh, oh, I love the uh, Art of the Rhythm section event that Gerald Albright hosted. That was really cool and really unusual and different uh, because uh, most people don't think about that when they think about right. music. They usually think about the singer or the sax player, the trumpet player. They don't think about what's on the bottom the connection that the drummer and the bass player have. So uh, Gerald, who's a wonderful bass player and a, a great educator too, he can get inside of the music in a way that, that's uh, different from everybody else. And he walked us through that relation, that special relationship between drums and bass. That was very cool. Yeah, it was great. We'll have to do that again, I think. I think so, for sure. And then uh, one of the events I loved yesterday was it was great that we could open Rick's Cafe again because uh, Rick's you know, tribute to Chet Baker was just fantastic. There's nothing that that guy can't do. And we, we were hanging uh, the night before last with him and Richard Elliott and Candy Delfer and Mindy and Javier. And um, it was because Braun said to us, why can't we all just hang out? Yeah, thanks, it was, for the, thanks for the invite. No, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and we, uh, went, I think it was at the Ocean Bar. It was, was, it it? was so late because that was, it was after my show. Oh, where Jonathan and uh, Nadira after they were playing the Ocean right. Bowl. Okay, okay. And uh, I got there too late. I was so upset because I really wanted to see that show. And uh, they were they had just come off, and I, I got Jonathan. I said, can you just do one more song? And I showed him, you know, I said, look, this is this, this is me right here. Hmm. Can't, can't you just do one more song for me? <laughs> one more? Nope. He was done. I said, come on, man. Pete tries to do an impersonation of, of Jonathan Butler, and uh, it's uh, needs a little work. It's not I mean, bad. I, I mean, it's not bad. It's it's better than I don't even try it because I know that I can't do it justice. You at least try it. So yeah. come on, give us a little JB. Hey DK, how you doing, man? You want to come to my show and play some sax, man? <laughs> Where's the tequila? William, man? you like that? Do you even know who we're talking about? Oh, yeah. He does. He's a big JB fan. Oh, really? He's like him and the Moose are probably the biggest JB fans on the ship. How do you, uh, can you do a little Jonathan? Can you do an impersonation? He can. Just try it. <laughs> hey, hey, Jay. Hey, William. How's it going, man? You want to have a tequila? <laughs> Usually it revolves around something to do with tequila. Yeah, yeah, he likes it. He likes it. Yeah. Or sushi. Big sushi, man. He loves the sushi. And by the way, Nadira, if you're watching, yeah, right. Uh, we love you too. Absolutely, we just absolutely adore you. You are one of the just. Every time I see her, I just want to hug her. She's just yeah. so, so sweet, and uh, her violin playing is oh incredible, gorgeous. She's really a talent. Incredible. Um, so, and last night again, uh, the ladies rocked it, um, and I do want to make a big shout out to our friend Mer Rick Marcel, oh. who was Prince. Uh, last night at the Lido Pool. It, that I mean, for me, that was one of the best events of the week. Yeah. I, just, I had so much fun up there. I mean, you know, we had uh, we combined the parties as we spoke about yesterday on the show, bringing the pajama party into where uh, Rick was going to be playing with Santorini Soul, and that was a massive night. As you can probably tell, I'm still hurting from it this morning. Well, as you can probably tell from my voice, I am hurting yeah. from it too. But, but it was worth it. Oh, absolutely. You know. It was a late to bed. It was. Early it was. up. Yeah, I mean, but everything about Rick, the, the way he was walking, everything, it was full on. It was so cool. The guitar. I mean, he, yeah. he sort of, if you kind of squint a little bit, you almost think it's Prince. Yeah. Because he just he sort of resembles Prince in the way Or if you moves. drink as much as I did last night. Right. Time, then, then you, you, know, you yeah. thought that Prince, I thought I was at a rose, Prince from the, <laughs> yeah. rose from the dead. It was great fun. 
Yeah, and also a big thank you to Q Hefner for putting on another mammoth pajama party. Actually, the the, the spirit on the ship from our guests oh. is so is off the charts great. So yeah. we we had a lot of participation not only in the pajama party but also in purple uh, our purple night. So yep. people really really went for it, which is you know for me because uh, I'm sitting there writing these emails and sending it out to our guests, thinking they're never gonna do this. But let's just try. Yes. You know, let's throw it out there and see if people will wear pajamas and see if we'll, we can uh, get a neon thing happening. And can What about a, a purple thing happening? But I think that's the great thing, you know, about our cruise is that, you know, everything's so inclusive. We're all doing this stuff together. We're going to Santorini today together. We come back, we go to the shows, we have a great time doing everything together. And I mean, that's that's what life's all about, isn't it? It's it sharing is. this stuff. It so. is. Speaking of that, uh, a friend of mine, uh, not a friend of mine, a woman that, a, well, a new friend of mine, uh, that I met in the hallway uh, outside of her cabin door, which was f awesome, she said, uh, when will the cabin door contest take place? Yep. And I said, thank you very much. I'm going to talk about that on the morning show, uh, which um, nobody's going to know now, so we have to make an another announcement. Right. Maybe you can do it yeah, from yeah, the bridge sure. or something like that. Sure. But we are going to uh, award the top Maybe five, five yeah, I think tonight, right. cabins tonight uh, during the main show. We're going to take pictures. And then our team of, uh, of, of the creative team is going to pick. Well, actually, we're just going to pick the, the five top winners. Yeah. And uh, you all get prizes. And uh, but I do want to say thank you to everybody who decorated their cabin door. Yeah, I, I think, think that's very a, cool ones. really a nice uh, way yes. to share your school spirit on board the, the cruise. Ah, so it's good fun. Thank you. So tonight, we will uh, we will do that. And just uh, two other events I did want to mention, which I did pop my head into, was The Music Lives On. This was Kenny Lattimore, Chris Walker, and Javier Colon. And uh, this was just I I incredible. You know, it's, it's very deep. Yeah. yeah very yeah. heavy. Very, oh. very beautiful. Very significant, mm. that was. I mean, that was one for the ladies. Yeah. They were going berserk in there. Well, three of them. I know. Yeah. Side by side, singing all that great music. And I say this with a, a almost a perfect record of hetero heterosexuality. Almost. Those, th those three men are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they are beautiful men. No, great guys. And and, and then and lastly, of course, uh, your romantic ballads. I was in there in the ocean bar as well, and that was great fun. We so, had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was Greg a good and time. I had a lot of fun. Uh, so today, let's talk about today. We are in Santorini, Greece, which is a beautiful island. When uh, when you conjure, this is something we talked about before, and we we wrote in our daily program. You almost have, even if you've not been to Santorini, you have like this this image of this island in your head because yeah. if you've seen anything in any movie or a television show or a book, when you when people talk about the Greek islands. Oh. It's Santorini that you think of, which is these beautiful uh, white buildings with the dome, the, yeah. the blue domes on top of it, the view of the beautiful oh, it's, sea. It's incredible. Yeah, and I mean, this Cobblestone is... Cobblestone streets. It, it, it is paradise, isn't it? You know, I mean, and I think that's the thing, you know, when, when you do build this image up in your head is, you know, if you see yourself on, a, on some type of, you know, paradise or an island or something like that, I mean... This is the place that brings it to reality, you know. So, we, and we've been lucky this entire week with these with these ports. I mean, you know, and the weather. Oh, yeah. I mean, so hopefully today will be a, a fantastic day, not too warm because it can get very yeah, warm. it can get very hot. But I, I think we're in for a really sort of you know good temperature today, and one that it's not going to be scorching hot, but it's certainly going to allow us to do whatever we want. And we want to. Uh, uh, Caution you to, if you walk down, you're more than likely going to take the cable car up. Uh, when you walk down, just be careful. Take your time. Allow enough time to come back to the ship because it's uh, it can be a little uh, time-consuming and also can, can be a little... Uh, treacherous coming down the yeah the and and look I mean the cable car there, there generally can be a long line at the end of the day folks but the great news is is um, Captain Mark Rowden and our, our hotel director Mark Pells bought an option to Dave for us to stay an extra two hours in Santorini so we're actually not going to be departing at 5 p.m. tonight we're going to depart at 7 p.m. so that means that you don't have to rush back 
to get on a tender. Of course, we've got great things going on on board today, but if you are enjoying it so much over there that uh, you'd like to stay a, a little longer, you know, once you get to the top of the hill where the cable car, you know, takes you down, sit up there and have uh, have a coffee or, or a drink or wine or a beer or whatever right. you like and, and just relax and, and soak it all in because we're going to leave later, which means that uh, all the other ships that we're in port with today, they're going to be gone before we are. Right. So we're, we're pretty Sounds lucky. like you have the whole island to yourself That's after right. a certain time today. And we certainly do not recommend folks taking the uh, the donkeys down and that's serious. I, I just haven't made that up. There are the donkeys in Santorini, but we, we do not recommend taking the donkey down or walking the donkey track. You know, it, it, as Dave said, it can be pretty treacherous and uh, the easiest way to do it is just uh, relax at the top of the hill and come down on the cable car get the tender back across to the ship and we've got some great entertainment for you tonight to enjoy. Right, and if you, as, as Pete said, if you want to, uh, this is your vacation and you can do, as long as you're on the ship when we leave, uh, <laughs> how you spend your day is uh, completely up to you and uh, days like today in Santorini. What are you going to be doing? Well, um, they're actually... Are you going to go short side? Yeah, oh, for sure, definitely. I mean, you don't miss opportunities like this, do you? You know, and uh, I, I don't, don't know when I'll be back here in Santorini, so I'm going to go across. There actually happens to be an Australian bar over there with incredible views. and um, so I've, I've, been, I've been there. Yeah. I was there last summer when I came here for okay, yeah. on a site survey. So they've got a bit, a bit of the local product from my uh, home nation, so I'll, I'll be ducking into there. for little VB? Yeah, VB. I'll be ducking in for a VB, just a, a cool one. And then I think it, maybe just a restaurant on the beach, you know, just uh, a salad. No need to call it Greek a Greek salad. salad. No need to and call a Greek omelette. Oh, I'm yeah. definitely getting a Greek omelette. And then just, I think, a, a swim in the ocean and then, uh, you know, come back on board for... I do want to be back on board for the tailgate party this afternoon. I, I really have a lot so of fun That's so much fun. Yeah. So what, let's talk about what, what uh, you're look, hopefully going to look forward to when you return to the Wester Dam after your day, uh, your beautiful day in Santorini. Uh, Adam Holly at 3 o'clock. It all starts off 3 o'clock at the Seaview Pool. Adam Holly, one of our main stage musicians, great guitar player, uh, and over the last uh, couple years has really established himself as a voice in uh, modern instrumental music. He's had multiple number ones, a hit album, and uh, he's so talented. And I'm a huge fan of his. And I also am a fan of his work ethic and his, what he's been able to do in his life. So uh, come out and support Adam, 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock at the Seaview Pool for our Santorini Sail Away Party that begins. And the musical tailgate party, as I just mentioned, folks, and I know you love surprises. Yeah. And I think there's going to be a very, very big surprise out there today. Mm. Do I know about it? Or is uh, this well, surprise? I hope so. Oh, it's you that. Know. It's that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's something that's really nice. We can't talk about it. I mean, we just talked about it, but we can't talk. We can't delve any deeper. I hope you understand. But that's going to be happening. Rick Braun will be hosting the tailgate party, and this is a chance for you to show your 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 colors, uh, where your team, your hometown team, or perhaps a team that you love, uh, wear the jersey, represent your city. Uh, represent your team yep. and uh, we've done this in years past and it's been a rousing success and a whole lot of fun because you see everybody out there and it's very good natured fun you can kinda if you see somebody wearing a, a team jersey that you don't really love and I know how you feel about some of these other teams that oh, are not yeah. yours yeah. Uh, it's fun to go up and, and, and playfully rib them oh for sure definitely but, it, but it's it's great and, and of course uh, Philadelphia Eagles fanatic oh, Rick yeah. Braun and I know that you and Rick share your love for the Eagles. Well, yeah, but my wife used to be an Eagles cheerleader, so I mean, uh, and her her coming out of Philly, we are you know big for uh, big for all the Philly sports teams, and um, you know we haven't had a great deal of success lately. And Rick, I'm sure, will touch on that <laughs> this afternoon. But uh, yeah, we'll, maybe we'll we, be wearing can, our gear. Can we get Julesy with some pom poms? Maybe and we'll have to have a look around the ship, see if they're uh, see if anything. Gotta have a couple pom poms. We'd hope somewhere. so. We'd hope so. Yeah. That's, that sounds fun. All right, so that's 4 to 5 o'clock musical tailgate, par tailgate party with Rick Braun and friends with the UK Collective, our Jersey Jam, CV Pool, 4 o'clock. And then Sheila E., the beat of my own drum, and this is uh, Sheila's book, the, the title of Sheila's book as well, and that's going to be hosted by Pat Prescott, and that's in the Crow's Nest today from 4.30. 5 o'clock, going all the way till midnight, finally. Uh, we've been... Uh, uh, 
mentioning this uh, for the last day or so, we have a Starlight Children's Foundation silent auction taking place at Lincoln Center Stage, which is uh, the room that is just outside the dining room uh, on Music Walk, that, yeah. on the way to the billboard on board and the casino. And this is a, a organization that's very near and dear to my heart. I've worked with them for about 20 years. And they um, help kids that are in the hospital for long periods of time. So we're talking burn victims and leukemia uh, victims and cancer. And they're just, they're just kids. They're kids who want to be kids. They want to have normal lives. And uh, sadly, they, they can't because they're in the hospital for long periods of time. So Starlight, through their various programs, uh, goes in and helps these children with their families to bring a sense of normalcy to a very not normal environment yeah. and I've seen it firsthand uh, Starlight the, the smiles that they put on on kids faces it's it's very inspiring it's very humbling it, it's a total reminder every time I work with Starlight or see these kids it's a total reminder of what's important in life for sure so on our cruises we started this about five years ago we thought it would be nice to uh, ask our artists to donate items and friends to donate items. So we have this incredible list of must-have items, once-in-a-lifetime uh, experiences, um, signed memorabilia. Yeah. And it's all going to be on display from 5 o'clock on all the way till midnight and carrying in to tomorrow all day. The, That's the, right. The final bids will be at 4 o'clock tomorrow. So if you're interested in finding out some of these really cool things, just head to Lincoln Center uh, stage uh, sometime this evening or tomorrow in the morning or afternoon and, and have a look at what's what's uh, yeah. on bid. It's, it's, it's been incredible how this is, is built over the years. I mean, I just went down to the office before to speak to your assistant Janice to get the numbers of what we've done in the last five years and we've raised over half a million dollars. Yeah, in the last five years of, of on our on our cruises here with, with this Starlight auction, and I mean, and from that, you know, the generosity of, of our incredible guests, you know, the artists have seemed to come back even harder and say, you know what, I'm going to do more and more. I, I want to put more out there to give more to the guests to try and you know it's, raise the money for these kids. I could, if I let myself, I could get very emotional just thinking about this because. Yeah. You know, the outpouring of love and generosity is so, it's very inspiring. You know, because our guests, you have spent a lot of money to be here and you've traveled halfway around the globe and maybe more importantly than all of that, you've given us your time, uh, which you'll never get back. And hopefully at the end of this week, you'll say it was well worth it. Uh, but we never lose sight of your commitment, like the fact that you're here and what you did to be here. And then uh, we give you this opportunity to um, to see these these items up for bid, and then people are so generous on yeah. top of already being so generous. Absolutely. Um, so anyway, just suffice to say, it's very inspiring to me personally. So I want to say thank you in advance for your generosity. And even if you just want to go and look at the at the bid, uh, the items up for bid, um, it's really cool to see because it's sure. very very. Oh cool things. We've got a bunch of signed saxophones, we've got a, a signed guitar that has been signed by every musician on this ship, uh, the saxophones as well, my little curved soprano. Yeah, um, private private concerts. Private concerts, we've got special uh, vacation experiences and in certain I, I, cities. I think, I think we, we also have a stateroom on next year's cruise as That's well. right, yeah. our, our, we have a beautiful veranda can't find that now. We, so. we're, yeah, where all, all verandas are gone. So I mean, and, and there there are still a handful of cabins available, folks, for next year's cruise in Scandinavia and the Baltic. And uh, by the end of the week, it looks like they're all going to be gone. So if you do want to join us, and to buy, you know, the looks of this crowd, they I dare say they would like to come back. Make sure you head to the Flying Dutchman Travel Hospitality Desk on deck number three, and they're going to be open all the way throughout the cruise. And for our guests on board this week, they're the only guests who can actually purchase right. uh, a stateroom for next year up until Tuesday when we disembark the Westerdam. But um, yeah, and, and as, as Dave said, the only way you can get a veranda cabin on one of our cruises next year is to do it in the Starlight Children's Foundation auction. I would be so happy if this entire ship oh. was on our cruise next year. Oh. So I know we would have a good I mean, time. I'd have to get a fair bit of sleep before next yeah. year. Well, you'll be a year. <laughs> have a year for sleep. And then no sleep, like you. Uh, anyway, the Starlight Children's Foundation silent auction begins tonight at 5 o'clock. Go and check it out. And thank you.
And then uh, in Ocean Bar, Greg Fillon Gaines plays the Stevie Wonder songbook. And I mean, this is just hit after hit, isn't it? Yeah. Five and he played with uh, Stevie Wonder in, yeah. in, in uh, uh, Stevie's band for many, many years. And so he's got a lot of personal stories and connections to Stevie Wonder. And uh, Greg will be doing that at 5 o'clock in the Ocean Bar. Now, old mate Ronnie Goots. And uh, look, Ronnie's had a lot of love affairs in his time. But I'll tell you what, one of his strongest has been with Latin music. And he's going to be out... Uh, carrying on the tailgate party after Mr. Braun finishes today and Ronnie's got Latin music love affair from 5 p.m. So join Ronnie out there uh, as we I guess well we're not setting sail from Santorini as we uh, as we sit in the bay and, and you know take it all in right good That's place a, to do I it I think it's a perfect place to do it uh, single malt scotches with Richard Elliott so I don't know if you were at the clock tower in KOTOR at three o'clock. That was our surprise. Richard Elliott played the bagpipes because he is a Scotsman, born and raised in Scot. Um, I'm not sure raised. I think he was born, born. and lived there for the, a few years of his life, and then moved to the states. But he is a Scotsman through and through. I mean, he even has the body type. You know, he looks like that kind of Scotsman. Yeah. So he's going to be drinking single malt scotches with you in the Pinnacle Bar at five o'clock. And then Ken Turner and Ash Janga, a little duet. Uh, Ken Turner, the, one of the lead singers of Santorini Soul, doing an amazing job this week. And Ash Janga, who plays guitar with the band, they'll be doing a duet uh, at Billboard On Board at 5.30. And then we have our evening theme, which is White at Night. And, of course, later on, the big one, toga. the Toga. Toga, 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 Toga. toga. Take it back. I, um... <laughs> William is looking at us going, what the hell? Is going on? Well, I know. Well, William's going to get a toga on. But uh, from, <laughs> from right now, as soon as you finish, William, till tonight, you're going to be wearing a toga. But, I mean, I don't know. Some of our guests might have been on our 2013 cruise. And as we sailed out of Athens, we did our toga party. And that was probably the craziest night I think we've we've ever had it can, on it, a day of course cruise. To use one of your words, it kind of got filthy. It did. Oh, it was massive. It was it massive was, and yeah. enormous. And uh, look, I mean, with this crowd, this has got the potential to you know take it right over the edge. I've got a feeling. So we we want to encourage you to put on your white or your toga. You can wear your toga all night long. I you know. Uh, I fully expect to see people in their togas during the Jeffrey Osborne and Peter White concert. Absolutely. But if you're yeah, not a toga it. person, you know, white or or nothing. You know, I like everything with our crews, everything is, is just suggestions yeah. as a way to kind of make us all feel even more like a family. But the great news is if you don't have a toga, our old mate Pelzi, uh, who is the hotel director here on the Westerdam, He's put a toga station in the Lido pool, and he's got sheets, so you don't have to rip the sheets off your bed. He's got sheets for you. He's got some of his uh, great cruise staff up there showing you how to tie the toga. So, really, there's no excuses. There is no involved. excuse whatsoever. So, don yeah. that toga. Let's all have a big toga party tonight. But before all of that, Peter White and Jeffrey Osborne, two shows tonight. This is all white night. Uh, very appropriate to have Peter White and Jeffrey Osborne on All White Night. Uh, tell us a little bit about Alto Madness tonight with uh, with you, Link Toes, Candy, and Mindy. Well, there are four alto saxophone players with a lot of repertoire that we can choose from. Uh, we wanted to salute the alto saxophone, which we all play. Yep. So that's Michael Linkton, Candy Dofer, Mindy Abear, and me. And we will be playing music from some of our favorite alto sax players. That's in, uh, including uh, David Sanborn, uh, Grover Washington Jr., Paul Desmond, uh, Cannonball Adderley. Got it. So this is music that is really, really special and really, really fun. And then uh, we have some, oh, oh, actually our music director, Rodney Lee, with Jazz Tronica and Billboard on board. And, and give us a bit uh, of an idea of, of, of what Jazz Tronica is, DK. Jazz Tronica is, uh, is a, a mixture, a, a uh, collaboration that Rodney has his own special sauce. So he takes music that um, kind of blends and, and mixes music from one era with another era. So it's kind of like a little bit more of chill and down tempo and the music that you'll you'll hear it in at the, in the clubs, yep. 
um, almost EDM, okay. but mixing it with, with traditional wow. jazz. Oh, okay. Got so it. it's very, very cool. That's happening. Uh, Rodney Lee uh, will be doing Jazz Tronica at 8.30 p.m. And then our DK After Dark, again, toga, 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 toga. We've got a big toga party blowout that will be at the Lido Pool at 11 p.m. and going late. So no matter what you're up to, uh, it's, uh, it's never too late to come to the Lido Pool to be a part of our toga party and that's going to be fun if music is more your thing we've got mighty aphrodite with ashling cole and aubrey logan singing number one hits these are two powerhouses and uh, they're going to be combining forces for that and then rick marcel is back tonight in billboard on board and just doing a show on his own so uh, and, but rick is one guy who he really doesn't need a band you know to entertain you that's how good he is he's fantastic so join rick at 11 p.m uh, in billboard on board tonight some counter-programming here. We've got an Uzo Toga bingo party <laughs> with Candy Dolfer, Jonathan Butler, Rick Braun, and that's going to be hosted by Ron Pearson. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Either. Well, it's just going to be a drink fest, probably. Yeah, exactly. That's happening at the Crow's Nest at 11.30 p.m. Uh, Uzo is, of course, the, the Greek yeah, uh, drink. aperitif, right? Right, well, yes. It's kind of uh, strong. It is. I did an ouzo tasting once. Really? It obliterated me. <laughs> did I? Yeah, I bet it did. And then, I mean, this is this is a magic event for our four guests who do watch. Gary, you're one of them. You'll be there. Uh, we have a Sunrise and Beyond live morning show, which we're going to do in the Queen's Lounge tonight at midnight. That's right. Very excited about that. Uh, please, uh, show pity on us. Please. And if you're up at midnight, come and see the show live. We'll have live music. First That's of all, right. we have a band. Yeah, we, we uh, the Magnum... Rosé. Magnum Rosé... Gladiators. Gladiators. They're our band. Right. They're our band. Right. Yeah. You have no idea how much I had to pay them. To, well, to I know. Just show up. But it's going to be worth it. I mean, these four people are going to be so entertained. Yeah. You know. Um, and I, I think we're going to have special guests too. Okay. Great. Special guests. Well, we should. We should actually. That that might get some more people there. And the the morning show is probably funnier if you have a cocktail. I, so at yeah. least at night, unlike the morning, it's uh, it's probably. It's well, it's be permissible, fun. right? Yeah. Right, so come and join us tonight. That's at midnight, uh, for Sunrise and Beyond live. And then our ancient Greece after party, folks, it's actually going to be moved out of the crow's nest, and we're just going to bring that down to the Lido pool to continue the toga party blowout from uh, earlier on. So, no need to go up to the crow's nest, it's all happening at the pool. Quite a day. Let's get to a few. Uh, tell us what your celebratings, real quickly. Uh, before we let you get off the ship and enjoy your day in Santorini. Robin Price is celebrating. <laughs> she writes, the name of the guest you're celebrating with, nobody. And then she says, <laughs> what are you celebrating? My divorce. There you go. <laughs> it's a good place to do it. Way to go, Robin. Laurie Hammond celebrating a 25th wedding anniversary with Mr. Hammond. So congrats to you folks. Uh, Larry and Nanita are celebrating their 25th anniversary. The Mac Capagals. Way to go. Happy birthday to Janice Baskin, who uh, celebrated a couple of days ago now on uh, a day in Couture, I think. Uh, Alfonso and Lisa Howell, they're celebrating their 33rd wedding anniversary on May 20th, uh, which I believe is today, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Happy anniversary to the Howells. Lillian Rustin celebrating her 60th birthday and retirement. So congratulations to you, Lillian, and a happy birthday. We have a wedding that's uh, taken place. Louis, Louis Aliotto and Linda Cuaro, I think I'm pronouncing her name correctly, uh, are celebrating their weddings. So we got newlyweds on board. Way to go. 33rd wedding anniversary for Lisa Hal and Mr. Hal as well. Congrats to you folks. And how about this? A 50th wedding anniversary for Tom and wow. Evelyn Contreras. 50 years How of marriage great is that? to the Contreras family. Congratulations. Congratulations, and thank you for choosing us to celebrate. And the final one I have for today is a happy birthday for today in Santorini to Crystal Cooper Smith. What a place to celebrate your birthday. I love it. I'm sure there's quite a number of people that are celebrating their birthdays Absolutely. in Santorini. Uh, Chandra Snowden celebrating with Diane Rogers, celebrating mother, a belated Mother's Day. And by the way, tomorrow uh, we are sort of technically reliving a Mother's Day. That's right. Why I mean, not? Right? Exactly. Exactly. And uh, a lot what, of moms what, on board. What a great way to celebrate, uh, you know, everyone's mom. 
That's right. And we have brunch, a really nice brunch that's kind of a gospel-y brunch tomorrow. Uh, we're really looking forward to doing that in the dining room. That's a sea day. We don't even have to talk about that because what, what's on tap today is a picture-perfect, wonderful port day in Santorini, Greece. We are in Greece, my friends. It's very exciting. You ready? I'm totally ready. Well, let's I'm going to take the sweater off and these jeans, and I'm going to put my bathing suit on and have the best day ever, and we hope that you do just the same, and we'll see you back on the Western Dam Enjoy. a little later today. Have a great day. Ciao. Bye-bye.